up at dawn and sleepy and yawning Still the taste of wine Cause I remember you're mine And I got a world that's fine What's before me, routines that bore me Punch the clock at eight Then I remember you're mine And I got a world that's great Atom bombs, Cape Kennedy and false alarms Half the universe is up in arms So I flip a little go until I'm holding you What's the hassle? I'll fight the castle We can live like kings If you remember your mind then I got a world that you got a world that We got a world that swings Got no mansions, got no yacht Still I'm happy with what I've got Cause I remember your mind And I got a world that swings I got the world down a string Sitting on a rainbow Got the string around my finger The string reminds me you're mine And I got a world that swings At the bombs Cape Kennedy and false alarms At the universe is up in arms So what with a little bit Until I'm holding you What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle We can live like kings If you remember your mind Then I got a world You got a world He's got a world She's got a world that swings I got a world that swings You got a world that swings Any way you look at it I've got a world that swings Yeah. Well, I kept hearing the word swings. What's the title of that song? It's called I've Got a World That Swings. Does swinging make it a jazz song? Well, I think it makes it a jazz song, Ralph, uh, depending on how you sing it. I think you can sing Our Sweet Mystery of Life and make it a jazz song. It just depends on the interpretation of the song. And it's the performer, not the material? I think basically, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you a jazz singer? <laughs> well, and let me answer that partly with a question. As you know, because we've known each other for many years, there are very few people that I consider qualified to judge whether someone is a jazz player or a jazz singer. Now, you happen to be one of the few people that I feel is fully qualified. You could cancel now, off the show for that. Am, am I a jazz singer? Mel, Mel. Am I a jazz singer? You are to me, but I've got a very good friend who thinks you aren't. Well, now, then we, then we, oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. That's, that's good, though. Yeah, I think I'm a jazz singer. Uh, my feet have always been firmly rooted in jazz. Uh, I grew up in my hometown of Chicago. And as you know, uh, I've been listening to Ellington and uh, Lunsford and Charlie Barnett and some of the more commercial but good musical bands like Artie Shaw and uh, Tommy Dorsey for so many years that I think that just from the, you know, through the process of osmosis, I'm a jazz singer, yes. I think so. What makes a guy a jazz singer? What makes a man, what makes a woman a jazz singer as opposed to just a good pop singer? Well, as I, again, we go right back to interpretation and sound. I think there is a kind of, uh, a kind of vibrato and an approach to singing notes that makes people a jazz, let me demonstrate, may I? Uh -huh. uh, for instance, uh, a standard popular singer would sing, up at dawning, sleepy and yawning. Now there's kind of an accepted feeling about singing notes when you're a, when you're a so-called an alleged jazz singer, where you sing the, the, the held note at the end of the phrase uh, in a cold tone and add vibrato like this. Up at dawning, and you add the vibrato later. I think that this is uh, maybe one of the one of the forts of a jazz singer, one of, one of the strong points of a jazz singer. You're not always singing, you're not always adding vibrato to every single note. You're singing most of your notes cold tone. But sometimes when you sing, it seems to me uh, I could hear an instrument, a brass instrument playing while well, you're singing. Well, that's the other aspect that I was about to talk about. Uh, the word jazz singer, I think, uh, Ralphie, is, is thrown around a great deal. I think that it's, uh, it's a word that's used uh, incorrectly at times in describing certain singers. Uh, I can think of two male singers right now, for instance, uh, I'd rather not name, who are considered jazz singers because they have a uh, throwaway quality to their voice. 
I think of a jazz singer, to really be a jazz singer, should be basically a musician and should be capable of improvising around any given melody. I don't say that, uh, that this is, it's like a flyer. You don't always have to do barrel rolls through the air, but it's nice to know that you can do them, that you're, you're, you're capable of doing them, and you're in control of the airplane. I think the same thing applies to, per se, a jazz singer. So who are jazz singers to you? Well, of course, I think Ella is a jazz singer. Uh, I think Carmen McRae is certainly a jazz singer. Um, Anita O'Day uh, is a jazz singer. Uh, she's not my favorite singer because uh, her intonation bothers me. But that's not really fair either because it, we're talking about feeling, aren't mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. It's like uh, somebody once said about Billie Holiday to me, and it's, it's a quote that I've remembered for 900 years now. Somebody said, Billie Holiday is a little like spinach. It doesn't always taste good, but it's always good for you. And which I think is kind of interesting. There are an awful lot of jazz artists who are maybe not the most musical artists, you know, that I can think of, but who are always interesting to me. Leo Watson is a good example, yeah. a very crude kind of uh, scat singer in his day with the old Gene Krupa band, and then on his own as a scat singer. And he maybe didn't, he wasn't as pyrotechnic pyrotechnical as Ella, or uh, modestly but honestly myself. Mm -hmm. But he had a driving kind of uh, gutty, basic, down-to-earth, grassroots force uh, in singing scat that was very thrilling, very thrilling and exciting to hear. What other male do you think of as jazz singers? Well, I think that, uh, you know, it's hard to disseminate. Uh, it gets to be a semantical problem between a jazz singer and a blues singer. Like to me, Joe Williams, who's one of my all-time favorites, is essentially a blues singer. But blues is jazz, so he, sure. you, know, by, you know, by that reason, is a jazz singer, too. Uh, people call Mark Murphy a jazz singer. Uh, I don't think he's a jazz singer. I think he's a very interesting singer. But I don't think he's a jazz singer. What about Bob Duro? Uh, Bob Duro is a very strange uh, category of singer. He's, first of all, he's tremendously interesting to me. I recorded a song of Bob's, which incidentally we're going to do next for you, called Coming Home Baby. And when I heard his uh, acetate recording of it, you know, his demonstration record, I called my company and said, gee, I think it's great and I'd love to do it, but I'll never sing it as well as Bob Duro. And I meant that with dead seriousness. Bob Duro has a very strange, almost country quality to his voice. It's, uh, it's twangy and it's, He's, the, he's a very, very unique singer because you cannot call him a country and western singer, nor can you not call him a jazz singer. He's very, very hard to categorize. But when you did Coming Home Baby, was it an entirely different thing than the way he did it? No, I must confess that his record made such an impression on me that when we finally went to make the arrangement for, for my record, uh, we pretty well hewed to the line that Bob had uh, indicated when mm -hmm. he did his own, mm -hmm. his own demo. But, uh, you know, it's very, very hard for me to think about male jazz singers. I think that there are some guys who have uh, an inflection of jazz in their voice without really being jazz singers. Certainly Sinatra mm -hmm. is one. I don't consider Frank a jazz singer, but he can swing, mm -hmm. and he has that infectiousness that, to me, associates itself with jazz. Let's uh, do Come On Home Baby and demonstrate. All right. Okay. All right. This is a little bit different from the recorded version. Uh, I've had uh, rather interesting comments from all over the United States and Canada and Australia and England and every place on Coming Home Baby. Many people thought that it was a rock and roll record. But this song began life as a Herbie Mann instrumental. And it is basically a minor blues pattern and a very interesting song to me. Uh, it is no more or less erudite lyrically than most of the blues tunes that you'll hear in the 12-bar pattern. And I must say that without copping out, as they say, I still get a tremendous kick out of singing it. It goes like this. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Coming home, baby, now. shoo ba doo ba doo doo I'm coming home now, right away. Coming home, baby, now. I'm sorry now I ever went away. Every night and day I go on stay. I'm coming home now. Coming home, baby, now. I'm coming home now real soon. Coming home, baby, now. 
I'm coming home, I know I'm overdue Expect me any day now, real soon I'm coming home, pretty mama Coming home now, and everything is gonna be fine Coming home, baby, now Expect to see me now anytime When you're in my arms, I'll be fine Coming home, pretty baby I'm coming home now, yeah, yeah, yeah Coming home, baby, now I'm coming home, you hearing what I say And I never will go away Hey, mama, it is the gospel truth. I'm coming home now. A light a candle in the window, pretty baby, coming home. I'm coming home. Hey, pretty baby, coming home real soon. Coming home, baby, now. They can't hold me back now no more. The road is long, baby, now. Oh, hear me holler and hear me roar. Gonna be with you evermore Coming home, pretty baby That's what I say, I say I'm coming home I'm pressing on, baby, now I'm coming home and never more to roam Baby, I'm for sure coming home I'm coming home, I'm coming home, I'm coming home I'm coming home, pretty baby Hey, 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 I'm coming home Well, that's a slightly different version of Coming Home Baby than I'm sure you're used to if you've ever heard my record of it. Right about now, uh, I think it'd be fun to do a ballad. And you know, I've run into many, many accompanists in the course of the last 10, 15 years. Some good, some fair, some not so good, some excellent, and some unique. Now, one of those accompanists is a young man from New Jersey named Jimmy Wisner, and he's played with me on a number of my records. Uh, luckily, Another one of those rare accompanists is the gentleman sitting immediately behind me, Mr. Gary Long. And I've had the pleasure of working with Gary in this Bay Area of California for quite a few weeks now. The song we're about to do was written by the aforementioned Jimmy Wisner, and from a standpoint of a jazz ballad combined with a rather unique way of singing a torch song, or stating a torch song musically, I should say, uh, this to me is a very interesting song. It's called... Sydney's Soliloquy, and it's named after a man in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Sid Mark, who is a very famous FM DJ in that area. See if you like it. Listen to Sydney's Soliloquy. The most forlorn, full mournful melody you've heard. If you're blue, sample its remedy. It takes away the blues, leaves you with a sigh. Long ago, when love was new. And the love affair was swinging It was all that you could do To suppress an urge for singing Now that love is through And your heart beats out of meter Don't let yourself become a bore And a drag Hey Maybe this little song will be the panacea that you're looking for. If you're blue, Sydney's soliloquy 
will take away the blues and leave you with a sigh. Mm, fly away, leave your troubles for another day, and share with me soliloquy. A song for Sydney. Kind of an interesting song, isn't it? With some very unique, almost Duke Ellington changes. We've got a song right now that's also very interesting to me and a little bit different from the standard kind of song that I sing. This is written by a multi-talented young gentleman named Oscar Brown Jr. And it's particularly interesting to me because I have a little boy, Tracy, who just turned five years old. And he's at that age, you know, where every five minutes he's, he's tugging at my coat or at my trousers and looking up at me and saying, Daddy! Hey, Daddy, what dat dare? What dat dare? Hey, Daddy, what dat dare? And what dat over there? And oh, Daddy, oh, hey, Daddy, oh, look at over there. Hey, where they going there? And what they doing there? And Daddy, can I have that big elephant over there? Hey, who dat in my chair? And what she doing there? And oh, Daddy, oh, hey, Daddy, can I go over there? Hey, Daddy, what's a square? And where do we get air? Daddy, can I have that big elephant over there? My quizzical kid, man, he doesn't want anything hid. He's forever demanding to know who and why and what and where. He inquisitive child, and sometimes the questions get wild. Like, Daddy, can I have that big elephant over there? Don't want to comb my hair. Where's my teddy bear? Daddy, look at that cowboy coming there. Hey, can I have a pair of boots like that to wear? Daddy, can I have that big elephant over there? Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. What that dare? What that dare? Well, the years will pass. Time will go. The little fella's gonna grow. I gotta tell him what he'll need to know. As life's parade goes trudging by, he'll need to know some reasons why. I don't have all the answers, but I'll try. My quizzical kid, man, he doesn't want anything here. child and sometimes the questions get wild like daddy can i have that big elephant over there hey daddy what that there what that over there and oh daddy oh hey daddy you oh, look at over there hey where they going there and what they doing there and daddy can i have that big elephant over there and daddy can i have that big elephant over there oh daddy oh daddy oh daddy oh daddy oh daddy oh daddy what that there what that there I'd like to uh, give Gary a little breather and move back to the piano and do one of the most musicianly songs I think that's ever been written written by incidentally two very dear friends of mine Jack Siegel and Marvin Fisher and strangely enough I avoided this song for a long time. Uh, I, was, I felt at one time getting too much identification in the jazz vein. When I say too much, to the point where people really wouldn't come to see me in a club because they felt I was singing songs that were too far out, not identifiable to them. And because this song held a giant jazz identification to me, I, uh, I rather avoided it. And strangely, in the last two or three weeks, for some reason, it suddenly came to my attention again and became a very thrilling song to sing. It's called When Sunny Gets Blue, and we'd like to do it for you now. When mm -hmm. 
sunny gets blue Her eyes get gray and cloudy Then the rain begins to fall Pitter patter, pitter patter Love is gone, so what can matter? Ain't no new lover man come to call When Sunny gets blue She breathes a sigh of sadness Like the wind that stirs the trees Wind that sets the leaves to swaying Like some violins are playing weird And haunting melodies People used to love To hear her laugh Watch her smile That's just how she got her name Since that sad affair She's lost her smile and changed her style Somehow she's just not the same But memories will fade Pretty dreams will rise up Where her other dreams fell through So hurry new love hurry here To kiss away each lonely tear And hold her near When sunny gets blue Hold her near When Sunny gets blue. When Sunny gets blue. Uh, <clears throat> this is an archaic instrument called the ukulele. I've been playing this really since I was a kid in vaudeville many, many years ago. Of course, in those days, I used to do some of the tunes that were popular. Like in 1929, believe it or not, when I was four years old, I was singing at a restaurant in Chicago called the Black Hawk with a famous old band called the Coon Sanders Nighthawks. And in those days, I came out in short pants and a beret I think I was too hip for them in those days. Anyway, the ukulele really is basically, as I said, an archaic instrument. Nobody plays it anymore except, I guess, myself and Arthur Godfrey. But it rather lends itself well, particularly this baritone ukulele, to a new rhythmical pattern that we have come to know as the bossa nova. There's a beautiful bossa nova tune written by the king of the bossa nova, Antonio Carlos Jobim. And we've been doing it in our act by, I don't mean the editorial we, I mean we four, and I would like to have a crack at it for you. It's a very beautiful song called Quiet Nights. <laughs> Quiet chords from my guitar Floating in the silence That surrounds us Quiet thoughts and quiet dreams Quiet walks by quiet streams Climbing hills where lovers go To watch the earth below together We will live eternally in this mood of reverie away 
from all the cares around us. My life was dull each minute until I found you in it. Then all at once the happiness I knew became these quiet nights of loving you. My life was dull each minute Until I found you in it Then all at once the happiness I knew Became these quiet nights of loving you Quiet nights. Let's have a little jazz to wind things up. Huh? E. Travel my way, take the highway, that's the best Get your kicks on Route 66 You go through St. Louis, Joplin, Missouri Oklahoma City looks mighty pretty, you'll see Amarillo, Gallup, New Mexico Thanks to Arizona, don't forget Winona Kingman, Barstow, San Bernardino Won't you get hip to this timely you Get hip to this timely you If you ever plan to motor, you ever plan to motor, you ever plan to motor west, travel my way, take the highway.